I thought I'd do a short video on my belt kit, how I've made my belt kit, how I like to arrange it, and a, a general idea of what I'd expect to see in there. This list is not gonna be exhaustive, but so the pouches are obviously Molly, why would they not be? The belt itself comes in a, in a multi-cam, I think it was UK Tactical. It's comfortable, it's padded, especially if you're wearing it for a long period of time. The yoke itself is just a standard PLC yoke, nothing special. Obviously a multi-tool. All the straps I've, I've taped up and it stops your hand getting caught in them, which does happen. Uh, and obviously this I'd put underneath my body armor because it stops your webbing floating around all over the place when you're running. Obviously a carabiner for your helmet. Mine's a bit battered now. Your CBRN adapter so you don't lose it. And then I like to have a separate large helmet cover that I've pre-scrimmed so I can put it on, take it off as required. Gloves. I quite like the ones with the protected knuckles. Just gives you a little bit more protection on your hands. Okay, so starting on the pouches themselves. Now, these are fast mag pouches, and I find that they're quieter and a lot faster than, than Velcro. And also, I prefer the, the plastic ones as opposed to the material ones, because I find that the, the material pouches tend to fold up and you can't get your magazine back in, which is not ideal. There's a couple of drawbacks, really, with fast mag pouches. And one, they loosen over time. And two, if you get your magazine caught, they can open up and obviously deposit your ammunition on the floor, which is not what you want. So what I've done is I just use cable ties, zip ties, whatever you want to call them. It has a couple of benefits. It tightens the pouch, so make sure your magazine isn't going to fall out. And also it stops them failing. So you'll notice that Two of my magazines are facing the right way and two of them are facing the wrong way. The, the wrong ones are, so when I'm in a standing position, I can rest my elbow on them and it, it makes my position more stable. And obviously as these run out, I would then rotate them. So pistol magazines, once again, fast mag pouches, once again, cable ties. Generally, I'd attach them onto the front there. It, it sticks out a little way, but I'm used to it, and that's kind of what I like. If not, then I've left a spare strip of molly to attach them there. Onto your main pouches. So these, I like to have quite a few. Um, some people don't. I don't know why, because if there's nothing in them, they collapse out of the way, no issue. So these, these main pouches here are kit be that yours or your sections. So first one is my water bottle. Obviously, it's right there, quick access. If you don't have a water bottle and you've been issued Camelback, then Camelback, I don't like them because I don't like cleaning them, but each to your own. Sheath for your bayonet because it is easy to reach right there. The final three are definitely kit. Um, the first two are generally my kit. So food really, a jet boil, if you don't have one, where have you been hiding? And boil water in about a minute, so you can make hot food in a couple. The, this one, you can easily fit 24, but at a push you can fit 48 hours worth of rations in there. So. I can be self-sustainable for up to two days with my belt kit alone. The final one is, is really section kit. So whatever that might be, might be your sort of ammunition, mission specific, that would go in there. So you noticed earlier that I only had four magazines in my ready rack. So that's because I have two triple magazine pouches on the other side. So obviously I would say that these are for ammunition, explosives or Haribo. 
So here I've got another couple of magazines. You can obviously fit a third in there. Final one. Um, see, I've seen a lot of guys who have grenade specific pouches in there, but I don't like them because you can only put a grenade in it. Whereas at least with a triple, you can fit two to three grenades, a couple of smoke grenades, frags, whatever you want to put in there. So in there at the minute, I actually have ballast for want of a better word. So when you're just training, you're on the ranges, you're doing a shooting competition, your webbing might need to be a certain weight. So all I've done is I've just got some cheap waterproof bags, some gravel and some duct tape. And I've made larger ones, which obviously go in the larger pouches, smaller ones, which obviously slide into the smaller pouches. And that would keep your webbing weight at whatever it needs to be. A couple of things I've not forgotten about. So your secondary, your sidearm, this is in a competition holster at the minute, but I would have that on my, on my thigh. I, I personally prefer it there. I know a few guys who attach it onto the molly on their belt kit, but I don't know, I find that's a little bit more awkward. So I, I usually have it on my thigh. And last and certainly not least is sort of medical supplies. Your unit might have an SOP where, I don't know, you put it in your pocket on your arm or on your leg or wherever. But I'd say, a, these are a bit battered now actually. I'd say a minimum of a couple of tourniquets and a minimum of a couple of bandages. Anyway, I think, I think that's about it really. It's, as I said, it's not an exhaustive list, but I hope you learned something from it and feel free to leave a comment.